Today I'm going to show you how to use the waterproofing gland kit that you get when you buy your Star Gear RJ45 to SPX uh, connect connection adapter. <music> When you buy a Stargear RJ45 connection to SPX connection adapter, basically going for an, an Ethernet cable to a Starlink cable adapter, uh, the kit comes with one that goes into your dish, one that goes into your router. When you have a connection going into your dish, it is going to be located outside. You're going to want to make sure that's waterproof, weatherproof. And so to accomplish that, they send along a gland kit just uh, some parts in a bag and I'm going to show you how you put them together to make that connection waterproof. All right, let's take a look at what you get when you open up this kit. Uh, you get an, a couple adapter pieces, show you how they go on. You get a rubber gasket to go in there to seal it up a little bit more. And then this is what seals around your cable to make that that waterproof so let's uh let's grab a short little patch cable with a with the right connection on it let's grab our adapter and i'll show you how it all goes together all right let's get this adapter kit installed here we got the one of the adapter ends we can undo this cap here which will expose our rj45 female end there so basically what we're going to do is we're going to end up putting this in here but we're going to make this a waterproof connection and all sealed up tight so basically we're going to take this collar install it over our rj45 end we're going to take this rubber seal and it should be split like this. If it isn't all the way split, you should be able to pull it apart. Maybe it didn't get completely cut at the factory. You're gonna put that on there. This is gonna end up going in here. Actually, it's gonna end up going in here, but we'll set that in there for now. We're gonna take this piece. We're gonna put that over. We're gonna set that there. And we have one last piece here. And this is a, uh, a rubber gasket, seal, O-ring, whatever you want to call it. Pretty small, small rubber gasket. And basically, if you can see that, if I can get it to, there's a groove around the outside of this. So it's going to sit in there, and when we, when we screw it together, it's going to compress in there and make that, give that a waterproof seal. So we're going to slide that on. Stick it in that groove Make sure that doesn't fall out of there and get pinched. It sits in pretty good uh, once you work it in there It should sit in there fairly well Then we're going to take our adapter We're going to make our connection Sorry trying to do this and film at the same time You're gonna take this piece, making sure that O-ring stays in there. We're going to screw it down so it seals against this nut here. We're going to take our rubber stopper. We're going to feed it in below these fingers. See that? Fingers there, they're flexible. That's what's going to squeeze this down, but we're going to seat that in there all the way. And what's going to happen is because there is a, a curve here, as we tighten this down, it's going to squeeze these fingers in and compress this rubber around here. You can see I could kind of do it with my fingers, but it will apply even pressure all the way around, squeeze that down and squeeze the cable so no water can get in there. So we're just going to thread this on here. and tighten it down. And you can see how that has made a seal around that cable. 
that's all there is to it. This is nice, sealed, waterproof, weatherproof connection here, uh, ready to go outside, sit in the elements, and make your Cat 6 or high-end Cat 5 able to be used with your Starlink.